Did you know natural light enters through our visual cortex and propels the hypothalamus to release dopamine, oxytocin, and serotonin? Wait, 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 wait. What? It means that daylight conditions your mind to feel happy. In fact, we know that daylight improves mental performance and cognition while decreasing depression and stress levels in individuals. We have seen that 47% of office workers feel tired and 43% of them feel sad due to the absence of daylight in their workplace. Various studies have shown that people with proper access to daylight increase their self-reported well-being by 70%. You have never mentioned this before. Well, that's because with COVID and the confinement that followed, we became increasingly aware of the effects our built environment has on our mental health. As a result, we recognize that natural light has become a luxury that only few can access in the workplace and residential environments. We've now come to realize that we were already locked down years before the pandemic started. You're right. We need to make a change in the way we conceive infrastructure. That is why we want daylight to be decommoditized through the use of translucent concrete. This is a type of concrete that allows up to 70% of light to pass through due to an innovative mix design that incorporates optical fibers into the traditional mix. Since walls prevent us from receiving daylight, we want to embody the concept of translucent concrete into masonry. We found a material with both insulation capacity and extremely low density that energetically outperforms traditional masonry. It's called autoclaved aerated concrete. AAC is achieved by mixing fine aggregates, cement, water, and an expansion agent that causes the fresh mixture to rise as if it were bread dough. Based on what we found, we've set out to embark on the possibility of introducing optical fibers into AAC mix. In consequence, our proposal is to conduct experimental research to investigate the viability of introducing optical fibers in AAC masonry. The objective is generating translucent AAC masonry units. This potential CRC research proposal would require the endorsement from an ACI committee. Consequently, we believe that ACI Committee 523 on Cellular Concrete could be the greatest candidate to become the venue for further exploration of this idea. Through literature review, we suggest the following considerations. Optical fibers shall be placed perpendicular to the direction of the masonry to enhance both mechanical properties and light transmission capability of the mixture. The fibers should be fixed on the borders to avoid misplacement once the AAC mix inflates. Different fiber contents and spacing shall be evaluated since these two variables are the most influential in concrete compressive and flexural strength when used in regular concrete. Content of the expansion agent should be varied to see what level of porosity is still able to attain the required strength. Furthermore, the structural performance in terms of the unit's ability to bond and compress its strength should be evaluated using the appropriate norms. ASTM C1660 evaluates the requirements for the thin bed mortar used with regular AAC masonry. In addition, ASTM C1693 provides a procedure to evaluate AAC compressive strength and classify it accordingly. As a result, translucent AAC masonry units should be evaluated and classified using these norms. There are two challenges to address. First, since the autoclave curing process is produced under high temperatures and pressures, it will be necessary to identify fibers that will be able to withstand such conditions. Second, because AAC is more porous than regular concrete, the optical fibers would be more exposed to the environment. In consequence, their levels of degradation would have to be evaluated to determine what type of sealing agent, if at all needed, would be appropriate for covering the masonry units. Eventually, if experimental research validates the viability of translucent AAC masonry units, guidelines that govern its usage could be developed. As well, guidelines and standardization can potentially lead to an increase in use. From the way I see it, translucent AAC masonry units can go beyond providing cognitive benefits, right? 
I am glad you said that. Additionally, optical fibers in translucent AAC masonry units have the potential to reduce up to 50% of the total electricity requirements during the day. Autoclave aerated concrete can provide insulating properties that reduce HVAC demand of buildings. This means a reduction in CO2 emissions coming from our buildings. Furthermore, in a practical sense, translucent concrete can help obtain points on categories comprising optimization of energy performance and use of materials to qualify for accreditation of green buildings through sustainability rating systems like LEED and EDGE. Wow, that's insane! A material with the potential to improve mental health and be eco-friendly as well is revolutionary. Now I understand why you brought up these psychology-related topics earlier today. We, as engineers, are sometimes too focused on practicality and optimization. But we need to start paying attention to the well-being of those who occupy our creations. I couldn't agree more. If people are going to spend half of their lives working, let us facilitate them with the spaces that ignite happiness and foster productivity through our use of concrete. Translucent AAC masonry units with their energy savings potential and the impact they will have on our mental and physical health are the perfect candidate to achieve the sustainable development goals. If the purpose of planning is not for human and planetary health, then what is it for? Wouldn't you want to be a part of it too?